From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. Health officials ready to move to the next phase in the fight against the spread of the coronavirus. Vaccination. The rollout begins today, and medical teams say they're ready to start that process. It's not mandatory. Prime Minister Minnis, among the first to get vaccinated, is urging eligible persons to take the shot, despite concerns in some European countries about the AstraZeneca vaccine, which is what we have. Officials maintaining that it's safe. The Prime Minister says it's the way to end the spread of the virus in the country. Police officers among those eligible in this first phase of the rollout. Commissioner Roll says he's going to take the vaccine, but he says he won't tell officers that they have to take it. Health officials continue to report good numbers, 11 cases in total for Monday, 7 in the capital, 4 in Grand Bahama, 1 in the Barry Islands, 19 persons in hospital, 2 in the ICU. The political season heating up, the PLP announcing 13 additional candidates in an exercise last night. Concerns over the number of persons attending that event at the Faith United Missionary Church. Reports say hundreds of persons were outside and there may have been some violations of the coronavirus protocol still in place. Among those not getting a nomination, Leslie Miller. Dr. Michael Darville is the official PLP candidate for Tall Pines. Miller says if he decides to run as an independent, he's confident he's going to win. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. No election date has been announced as yet, but both major parties are in high campaign gear. That is drawing some criticism from the Christian Council, expressing concern that it's being done during Lent and while coronavirus restrictions remain in place. The lead of government business in the House, Health Minister Wells, defending... I campaign. I observe the protocols. I wear my mask. A lot of the, the women want to hug. The men want to, want to shake hands, and you need to be able to dap. So from the standpoint of just campaigning, it isn't the, ca- it isn't the activity that's the issue. It's whether or not you're engaging in the kinds of protocol while you're in that activity. Police continue their investigations into those two Sunday boating accidents, which left four persons dead and prompted a statement from National Security Minister Dames. He's urging boaters not to take any risks. 19-year-old Randy Mackey now charged with murder in connection with the Nassau Village shooting incident last week. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, mostly sunny again today. Highs from the low to mid-80s now. 80 at Freeport, 82 in the capital, 84 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. There's a low tide now, the next high around noon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune. The people. Paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines U.S. health officials anxious about the possibility of another wave of the coronavirus in our country. A spring break is gathering large crowds in Texas and Florida. U.S. numbers continue to go down as vaccinations continue there. Not the same in Brazil, where cases continue to surge and a record number of deaths for a single day was reported yesterday. Vaccination in that country is slow. European countries waiting for a meeting tomorrow that is going to determine if they will continue to use the AstraZeneca vaccine. Concerns about blood clots in some persons who took it, prompting several countries to temporarily suspend use. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, no changes. Shell 452, SO 452, Ruiz $4.52 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Meet Team Bahamas for the World Cup Soccer Qualifier. 
coming up in Morocco. Get the latest on DeAndre Ayton and the Suns in the NBA. They're on a good run right now. And get the rest of the NBA news. There's an Olympic Games update in the Tribune Sports and the latest on Major League Baseball as spring training games continue. And find out what LeBron James, the basketball star, is up to off the basketball court all in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.